Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It is an absolute stunner of a beautiful day, and it happens to be the perfect day for our next topic, which is going to be dormant winter spraying for our fruit trees. We'll be doing this for two different reasons. One is going to be for pest management as well as disease prevention. We're going to be setting ourselves up for success in the spring by using these two organic compounds. It's going to help us have a beautiful, thriving, and healthy garden. So follow us along and we're going to show you how, why, and when. So the first couple steps here are really easy, actually. So you wanna make sure that we have all our equipment ready to go, which in this case is gonna be our compound, something to measure our compounds with, and our backpack sprayer. It's gonna be very, very important that you read the label to all of the compounds that you're gonna use because you don't wanna harm the tree. So take the time to read over this material and make sure that you're prepared and you're not overusing the product. The first of our two organic compounds is horticultural oil dormant spray. It eradicates more of the pests like mites, aphids, leaf miners, sawfly, whiteflies, and also helps a little bit with some of the funguses like powdery mildew and black spot. Our second organic compound is liquid copper, and we're gonna mix it together with the horticultural oil. It's there to control more of the fungicides like scab, blight, peach leaf control, rust, black spot, anthracnose, and bacterial leaf spots. From here on out, it's actually a very simple process. It's just about mixing the water and the compound together. The next step is to mix the compounds together. We use two to three teaspoons of liquid copper per gallon. And then the horticultural oil, we use two to three tablespoons per gallon, but each tree is different. So consult your instruction manual to make sure you have the correct amounts that you're going to spray. As it relates to what time of the year and how often you should spray, it's basically two to three times per year. You need to make sure that your tree is fully dormant and it's hydrated. So after the fall, when the growth stops and the leaves drop, right around Thanksgiving is a great time to spray for the first time. Your second time you're gonna spray is later in the winter before the buds of the trees start to open up. That's a great time to do it. You don't wanna spray it when the buds are starting to open. Picking the right day is crucial. You wanna make sure that you avoid temperatures that are below 40 degrees and above 70 degrees. That can definitely hurt the tree. We picked a very sunny day to make sure that our product is going to dry quickly. That's when the product will activate and it'll do its job. We're making sure that we cover the entire tree completely. We're saturating it to make sure that there were no lost spots that did not receive any of the product. We also tried to pick a day where there wasn't too much wind. When we started, the wind was two miles an hour but then it picked up a little bit, which is why we have the mask on, but we always stood on the north side of the tree. The spray we used was a little bit too fine. Next time we're gonna use something that's a little bit more coarse, but not so much that it's going to produce a thick stream. And on to our final thoughts, and that is, we understand how passionate everybody is about gardening. It's fun to create, and it's a joy to watch something grow. We try and do our research and find common denominators that work in our environment. Sometimes we get it right, sometimes it's just okay, but that is part of the journey. We hope that you got something out of this. We hope we showed you how, why, and when to spray. Thank you for watching, and if you did get something out of it, please follow along, give us a comment, let us know how we're doing. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much.